So Ms. Chuchel may have already discovered the perfect solution to Chelsea's 145 million bouncing problem. So Ms. Tuchel has twice opted to utilize a three-man midfield in the big game for Chelsea. On each occasion, the midfield trio of Angelo Conte, Giorgino and Matteo Kovacic have been unable to exert the control they needed in the game, but put under pressure but by an effective press from the opposition. Against Manchester City in the September and Lille on Wednesday evening, the Blues had their struggles. And while the Premier League champions may have more quality than their French counterparts, Chelsea were as limited in the opening 45 minutes in France. The key difference, however, was the Blues had one's real chance on one goal. Christian Pulisic showed the striker's instinct to slot the ball past Leo Jardin from Giorgino's intricate pass. Tuchel has needed some individual moments of brilliance to overcome their performances this season, but this felt calculated. While the Champions League last 16 second lag did show the Blues having some issues connecting midfield and defence, Pulisic's goal was indicative of a group of forward playing starting to find their feet in the season. While the goal no doubt restored the confidence of the Blues going into the break, it will also only add a Pulisic down. The former British Dortmund winger has now did six times this season to reach his ninth goal involvement, this one behind his tally record in 2020 and 2021. Crucially, Pulisic has recorded for goals in 2022, having found more time in the final third. The American is not the only one to have seen their return improve since the turn of the year. Much has been written about the development of Kai Havertz as a striker, and the German international has scored seven in his 11 goals since the turn of the year. Hakim Ziyech has also thrived, taking full advantage of not attending AFCON. Four of Ziyech's seven strikers have come in 2022, as the Moroccan managed to create when much of his team could not to end points against Brighton, Tottenham and Crystal Palace. Mason Mount has not seen the same way him, but has been consistent throughout Chelsea's struggles to connect in advanced positions under Tuchel and before the 48-year-old tenure. The England international has started to show a return to form after struggling to impact the score sheet in the early months of the year. Mount only has few goals and assists combined than Mo Salah, Son Heung-min and Jared Bowen this season. That leaves Timo Werner and Romelu Lukaku in a difficult position. Each forward was signed uh, for a half defeat to solve the Blues issues in front of goal. Outside of the FA Cup, the duo are struggling to make their way into two shells 11 at the moment. Werner has scored against Chesterfield and Luton in the FA Cup, but barely played a minute in between. And his start against Newcastle will have done little to persuade the Blue Sports he should not pick another forward option. Lukaku showed signs of finding some fluency with his goals in the Club World Cup, but saw his stock fall after his struggles against Crystal Palace, while Kai Havertz being entrusted to lead the line appears to be having a positive impact on the players around him. Even as Chelsea led the league in the early parts of the season, it never felt like they were fluent going forwards and required moments of magic to earn their results. More players are beginning to find those moments more regularly and maybe Tuchel is starting to discover how to unlock his riches, even if the Blues are not quite in the position of thrashing the opposition just yet.